All right, so we have we have declared the, uh, the a user schema that um, that describes the uh, the data the, the data set for uh, the fields for that describe a user. Let's now focus on creating a model. So let's uh, create here uh, user dot model uh, dot server dot js. Uh, note, note note the naming convention, right? These are uh, server um, these are server artifacts, right? Which is denoted at the end as server dot js. Right, so these these are, are are not meant to execute on the client or the browser, right? They're meant to execute here on the server, uh, and here are the ro their roles, right? That uh, um, the schema, the, its role is to encapsulate the description of what all the users, uh, all, all their all their fields that describe it, and whereas the model is going to be re responsible for creating um, uh, creating a um, uh, an API that allows us to uh, to to manipulate this this data uh, in persistent storage. Okay, uh, so so the, one of the first things that we'll need to do is is get a hold of Mongoose, right? The library that is, that allows us to create these models and these schemas. So let's grab, grab uh, Mongoose, right? And the next thing is that we're going to need that schema we just created a minute ago. Uh, so let's grab that that schema, user schema, and that's locally it's user schema. There it is. Uh, now that we have the schema, we can create the uh, the Mongoose model. Right, Mongoose model is the it's a it's a very low level model, right? That uh, allows us to interact with the uh, with the raw native um, uh, interaction with the with the, with a particular vendor. In this case, MongoDB. Right, uh, we're going to wrap that into a little. We're going to create a little uh, layer of abstraction, right? That hides the fact that we're going to be using this particular vendor, uh, which is Mongoose here. Uh, so so let's let's create the Mongoose model, right? This is the raw uh, uh, interaction. With the with the um, with the Mo uh, MongoDB database, so Mongo a user model uh, is going to use uh, Mongoose here, Mongoose dot model, uh, and it's going to create here uh, the the name of the uh, the model. We're going to call it user model, uh, and only because I'm going to have I'm going to have to do this again uh, tomorrow night uh, for the graduate folks. Um, I'm going to prepend this. I'm going to prepend this with um, Undergraduate, undergraduate. Okay, and this is the user schema. Okay, uh, so so this is this is how uh, we are registering this model with the rest of the mongoose uh, infrastructure. We're saying, hey, here's a here's a model. This is what's going to be used to talk to the database, right? And this name needs to be unique across the uh, the, uh, the 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 application. So you, we can't use the same name for this model. Uh, more than once, okay. Uh, that's why if I use uh, just 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 user mo user model would be a more appropriate name, right? Uh, I'm only prepending it just because I need the user model again later tomorrow night. Um, and and uh and so so th th there's my model. Um, uh, and now we can we can create functions that would allow us to interact uh, with this model uh, if we want to be able to create a a, a new user. Uh, presumably, somebody is going to pass us an instance of a, of a user, and then we would create it or insert it into the database, right? So to do that, let's create a, a function uh, that um, um, called create a user that can take as argument a user object, and then in here we can use the user model to actually create that user and insert it into the database. All right? Okay. Uh, whoever is using this, whoever is calling this function. Uh, can be can expect to for this to be an asynchronous call that goes out and inserts this in the database, uh, and they they'll need to wait right uh, for for some notification until the the, the, the database uh, acknowledges that the database has indeed uh, in, uh, inserted the data. Uh, to do to do that, we're going to return a promise right uh, so that whoever's calling this right can register a callback uh, for the for when the uh, the database is done. All right, okay. Uh, so, so all right. So let's do that for now. Um, we're we're um, so notice that this function here, the create user, right? It's a it's a nice little layer of abstraction uh, that is hiding the fact that underneath we are using mongoose to insert this in the database, right? Um, uh, uh, you know, anybody who using this this uh, this this uh, the, this API. Uh, would be unaware of the fact that underneath we are using um, you know, a particular vendor. Um, you know, if, if tomorrow we decide to switch the, the, the implementation to use 
you know, some other database, right, even a SQL database, um, you know, anybody who's using our API, right, would be unaffected, right? You know, up, so upstream, uh, you know, a higher level of, of abstraction in our application, whoever's using this data layer, right, is, is, uh, is, um, is shielded from any actual implementation how, how we, how we uh, talk to the underlying local database, right? Um, right, so let's, let's, uh, let's create the API. Let's um, add this to the user model, right? And then we can export it. We can export this and say um, uh, module.exports uh, equal user model. Uh, that means that anybody who, who, who requires this function, right? Who, when we, anybody who requires this file, right, will have access to the user model object which has the create user bound to it, yes? So anybody who's, who requires this file will be able to call this function right through through their uh, um, required variable right and who ne who's going to call this uh, the service is going to call this right the service layer needs is going to is going to invoke this uh, because it wants to use the database as a permanent storage as opposed to the array right uh, so let's do that let's go to the to the service layer so that the service layer can start uh, using this right so let's uh, let's do that in the service layer in the uh, user services right um, we have here at some somewhere in here we have create user. Create user is being invoked whenever uh, the, the the Angular application uh, sends us a post, right, with a with the with a user and um, and and, it, and presumably in the body it's the uh, it's the object of the of the user that we want to insert. Correct. Uh, currently the implementation uh, is to uh, push it into uh, an array of local user, right. Uh, instead, what we're going to do is that, yes, we're going to use the, 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 the body, uh, but we're no longer going to do this, right? We're, we're not going to uh, uh, create a bogus ID. Uh, Mongo is going to do that for us, right? Mongo is going to create the underscore ID for us, and we're not going to push it into a local array, right? Instead, we're going to use the, uh, the user model we just created two seconds ago, right? So let's, let's require that. Let's require here var user model, user model. We're going to require, let's see, let's uh, go up one and then down into models and then uh, the user and then user model. Okay, we have the user model. Uh, and in here, the, uh, the, the, um, the create user would use uh, user model dot create user. There it is. And it's going to pass that user object uh, to, to insert it into a database. Okay. Uh, now, this one, is, this, this function is going to return a a, 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 a promise, right, that will allow us to uh, to register for a callback, right, that's going to pass us the instance of the user that was just uh, just created in Mongo, and and so when we when we when we're called here, right, in this callback, we we are guaranteed that uh, either an either an error occurred or the the actual user was inserted in the database. So and that's that's when we can get back to the to the to the client and say, hey, we got the user. Right, it was successfully inserted, and we can send it back to you as a JSON object. Make sense? All right. Um, uh, one other thing we might need to do here is that um, notice the service. Right, the service is being uh, invoked by this app.js. Right. Um, right. This this app.js is the one that is loading the uh, the user service, um, and uh, and I don't believe we have we have the database. Uh, configured to be connected just yet. Uh, we were playing around that with that yesterday here in the lectures, uh, but I don't believe we, we brought that uh, here. Let's see, Mongo. Right? This is what we were playing around connecting to the database. So I'm going to bring this uh, that we play around with this yesterday and and copy this content. Uh, Mongoose. We we're going to we get the promise. We get the, right, we fix the pro the connect right, and then we connect it to. Web Dev Summer 1, 2017, right? So I'm going to grab that uh, logic, right? I'm going to bring it over to our app. Remember, remember that this app is the entry point for our server-side logic, right? For our server-side app, right? So let me let me do that. All right. So now we're we're, we're going to be connected there. Um, um, I think that's it. Let's see. All right. So let's uh let's uh give it give it a whirl. Let's uh restart the server. Let's see if this blows up. Okay. It didn't blow up. Um, uh, let's uh, let's see if we can actually uh, interact with this. Uh, let, let's uh, go 
uh, to register. Let's refresh this and let's inspect this. No, not that. Let's inspect this and see if we get any errors back from the server. Uh, we can say network um, and we try registering. Okay, we got an error from the from the uh, from the server. Let's see what the server has to say. It says uh, create user is not a function. User model dot create user. So create user is not a function. Create user. Did I misspell it? Maybe. User model. We require model. So it's just oh schema, not schema, model. Let me restart. Okay, so it seems that it didn't complain. Uh, we didn't get an er error, but notice that the, the profile is empty. Uh, it looks like, looks like uh, we were able to create the user because notice that it's trying to navigate to a user that has an ID that looks awfully similar to what, those IDs that we were uh, creating yesterday in MongoDB. Uh, and indeed, we can, uh, we can go um, and connect to Mongo uh, to see uh, what, what was actually inserted. So let me show the, the databases. And I believe we the one we we were working is with this one, um, this database, and we can do um, you know use that particular database show the collections. Um, all right, looks like it's uh, using this this um, uh, uh, name for a collection. Uh, I believe it's grabbing and notice that it says undergraduate user models. Right, remember yesterday uh, the default name for the collection was 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 um, based on the name of the model that we gave it. And I believe we named it user, no, we named it undergraduate user model, didn't we? Right? And notice that it's just pluralizing it. Uh, so let's use that, let's see what's in there for now. Uh, so we can do a find. Uh, and indeed, is there it is, our, our user PO that we just created two seconds ago. Right? So it did insert the, the user. And this is the ID that's right here. Now, notice that the profile failed, right? Because the profile is still using the old array, right? It's still coming to the service looking for that ID in the old array, right? So obviously that, uh, that user is not in that array, it's in the database, right? So we'll need to fix that next.